Stardew Valley is a cutesy farming sim in a happy little rural community with whimsical crops and adorable animals. If we ignore the deep-seated trauma that half the town is experiencing, it really is a wonderful escape from the burdens of reality. Unfortunately, someone in our secretly uber-capitalist imaginary lifestyle is not pulling their weight. Let me explain to you why sheep suck. For real, they're the worst. Sheep live in the deluxe barn, which means to even get the little jerks you have to have invested 43,000 of your hard-earned gold, as well as 1,350 wood and 650 stone. Now sure, you might be getting a deluxe barn for the sake of pigs, for the auto feeder, or for another late game animal we won't cover, but that's a hefty investment regardless. This is not the kind of project that you'll tend to make early in your farming career. I often try to get my deluxe barn by late summer or early fall to make sure I have time for at least one pig to grow up, but I recognize also that that might not be the case for everyone. And if you're not worried about pigs, this is probably a project that you can hold off on and use your materials and money for other things, unless you really love sheep, which you shouldn't. What you should do instead is uh, subscribe to the channel, pop in a like, and drop me a comment telling me your opinions on sheep. If you're like me and you also hate sheep, you could even consider joining as a member to fund more idiotic videos like this. Anyway, after you've coughed up all the money and materials necessary for your deluxe barn, you'll also have to actually, you know, buy the sheep. These little dudes cost a cool 8,000 gold, meaning they're tied with rabbits for the second most expensive animal. And even after you've managed to purchase your sheep, you're gonna need to buy some shears for another 1,000 gold. That means that your rabbits will literally always be a less expensive option, though the more sheep you get, the more you can spread that initial cost of the shears out. Like, if you bought a thousand sheep, it would technically be like each sheep cost you 8,001 gold, which is a way better deal, I guess. You can, of course, avoid ever buying the shears by simply not shearing your sheep until you have an auto grabber. That's another 25 grand, so it's not exactly a cheap option, but it will save you a whopping four energy per shearing while also stopping you from gaining five friendship points with your animals each day. Auto grabbers really are a double-edged sword when your animals aren't at high hearts yet. Anyway, now you have your sheep. It costs you 43 grand to get your barn, eight more for your sheep, and another thousand for the shears. You go home and pet your little brainless idiot for the next four days, and finally you can shear it for some wool. You're probably going to get standard quality wool to start, which sells for 340 or 470 gold if you turn it into cloth. If you are like many, many players, you'll probably take the artisan profession at level 10 to pump the value of your artisan goods up by 40%. That means your wool is now selling for 658 gold a pop. Not bad. Well, as long as you have a loom, which isn't too hard to make, except that it needs pine tar. If you have that, you're probably fine. Anyway, at 658 gold per cloth, it's going to take you 14 harvests from your sheep to pay off the cost of the animal and the shears. Sheep produce wool every three days to start, and you can increase this production speed in a couple of ways. Let's assume that you pet your sheep every day, and you shear them every three days when they're ready. Petting increases friendship by 15 points, and shearing increases by 5. If your sheep can eat grass outside, it also increases friendship by 8 points that day. Let's assume that your sheep can eat outside 21 of 28 days in a month, you know, 3 out of 4. That means on an average day your sheep's friendship increases by 22.67 points. Once your sheep has reached 900 friendship, it'll produce wool every other day. So, on average, using those estimates, your sheep will reach 900 friendship and produce wool every other day after about 40 days. If winter hits while you're working on this though, you're only going to be increasing friendship by about 16.67 points per day, so that's going to dramatically increase the amount of time necessary to reach that 900 friendship. Why is this important? Well, it's going to tell us how long it takes to pay off that stupid little sheep. We'll be at roughly 84 friendship points by the time our sheep is an adult. So we still need 816 points to reach our faster wool production of every other day. We gain another roughly 22.67 per day, like I said, meaning it's going to take us on average 36 more days to reach 900 friendship. We need 14 harvests of wool turned into cloth to pay off our investment. The first 12 are going to take 3 days each and the last 2 will probably only take 2 days. That means we're looking at about 44 days from purchase for this baby to become profitable. I will say though, if you get any iridium wool from your sheep, that is worth 32 more gold unprocessed. However, there's also a 50% chance that it produces two bolts of cloth. And actually even gold quality can give you two cloth 25% of the time. I don't think that this will probably affect your time frame, but it is worth noting. Either way though, that's a long time. 
A chicken, for example, would take 19 days to pay itself off, even if you sold the eggs without processing and the chicken never produced a single egg of higher quality than normal. At standard level, mayonnaise sells for 190 gold, or 266, with artisan meaning that chicken would pay itself off in about seven days. Nearly six for artisan players. And those are like the worst case scenarios. This is crazy. Now, you might say that's because sheep are so much more expensive, which is fair, but that's also my point. Let's compare it to pigs, which cost twice as much as sheep. With the artisan perk, 11 bottles of Mayor Lewis's own truffle oil would pay off a pig. And a pig can have literally zero hearts, as long as it's fed, and be almost guaranteed to find at least one truffle per day, assuming that it has room to find it. Pigs take 10 days to grow instead of 4, so they won't be producing right away. But even assuming the same 21 days of sun in a season, the pig is going to find those 11 truffles in about 14 or 15 days. Meaning your pig is paid off after about 25 days, while your sheep has just crossed the halfway point a couple days back. But there's another way to get wool faster, you say. Actually, I don't know if you're saying that, but it is true. You could technically take the shepherd profession at level 10 farming to make sheep produce wool faster. That would cut your harvest from three days to two, and after you reach those 900 friendship points, you'd get a wool every single day. Plus, that wool will be worth more because you took rancher at level five. And that is pretty cool, if very niche. You're essentially trading away a 40% increase in things like wines for faster and more valuable wool. So let's kind of look at what that actually does for us. After four days, our sheep is an adult. We shear it and make cloth from the wool, which now sells for 564 gold because of our rancher profession. Every day that we talk to our sheep, it increases friendship by 30 points instead of 15 since we took shepherd. Assuming that we shear it every other day, and that the same weather pattern holds as our previous math, we're gaining an average of 38.5 friendship per day. This time around, we'll be at about 144 friendship by the time we shear the sheep for the very first time. That means we'll be at 900 friendship about 20 days later. In this case, we need 16 bolts of cloth to pay off our investment, since each one is worth about 94 less gold. For the first 10 harvests, we'll get wool every other day. After that, it'll happen every day. That means we're looking at about 30 days to pay off our sheep this time. Four days to grow up, 20 days for the first 10 bolts of cloth, and six more days of daily harvests. Once you start getting gold and iridium wool from your sheep, you can stop making it into cloth if you want, since it'll sell for more unprocessed. But again, you might get two bolts of cloth, which would be worth more than one iridium wool, you know? There is some pretty detailed math on how quality produce is determined, and the shepherd profession drastically increases the chance that you see quality wolves. So realistically, your 30 days might be more like 25, without diving really deep into the formula. And that's a lot better. That's about how long the pigs took. Except, now you don't have artisan, so the truffle oil isn't worth as much as it was before. Oh, and also your wine, juice, pickles, jam, honey, beer, mead, pale ale, mayo, cheese, and aged roe all drop in value by about 40%. Hope that was worth it. Last and certainly not least, you don't even need a single sheep on your farm, ever. Because even if Emily never sends you wool or cloth in the mail, which she probably will, and even if you never find cloth from mummies, which you probably will, you can still get wool from rabbits, which costs the same amount as a sheep, live in a less expensive home, and most importantly, can also produce rabbit's feet. Rabbits, like sheep, don't pay themselves off very quickly. On average, it's going to take almost 55 days for a rabbit to pay itself off. The difference is that at a high enough friendship, your rabbit is going to start dropping rabbit's feet, one of the most valuable gifts in the game could sell rabbit's feet for somewhere between 565 and 1130 gold or up to you know 1356 with the rancher profession but they make better gifts an iridium rabbit's foot is worth 960 friendship points on a birthday for everyone except penny your iridium wool is worth that same amount but only for emily in summary sheep are a waste of money they require the same buildings as pigs but they can't keep up with truffle money they produce wool like rabbits, but can't compare to the bonus of getting rabbits' feet. If you need a wool factory because you like making clothes, sheep might be the best way to go. But beyond some niche builds that devalue every other artisan item in the game, sheep are simply a waste of cash. They're pretty dang cute, though. 
What do you think about sheep? Have you ever written 2,000 words to explain how much you detest a farming sim animal? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.